I work at University of Technology Sydney in the Centre for Quantum Software Information. I'm a professor of software engineering. I study mathematics and theoretical physics and those things intersect with computer science. Google, Microsoft, IBM are developing quantum computing devices and my job is to develop the applications and the software for those devices. The first idea of possibly building a quantum computer emerged in the early 80s and when I was in high school in the early 90s, just a few really key thinkers were thinking about this. So obviously it wasn't in the high school curriculum, but what was really important was learning how to learn and learning how to continually evolve my skills. There's a few key teachers that I had which I would really credit with getting me to where I am today. They encouraged me to be creative, but they also taught me to be uh, disciplined in my work, to channel that creativity. Certainly throughout my career I've seen that the people who are good at that, the people who can find a way of working with the information they have, and the capacity to synthesize are the ones that succeed. The sort of skills that I think are going to be really essential for students going forward is taking a step back from you know, the user interface which you're used to using. You're used to using Facebook, you're used to using Google, you're used to using Gmail, those sort of things. Trying to get an understanding of what's behind those things and how they work is actually really important. The future of technology, it's hard to predict. We don't know where things are going to be, so what we need is the skills so we can adapt. People have said it a million times over, but literacy and numeracy matter. The ability to communicate matters. Communication skills are really important in most occupations, and I'd say in science in particular, you need to communicate very complex ideas to people and find ways of doing that which people will understand. Even fellow scientists working in your field I've worked in big collaborative networks, working towards common goals, and that involves obviously a lot of coordination and a lot of teamwork. And in order to get that to work, leadership is something I've learned is very important. Coordinating everybody to work towards a common goal is really vital. My one wish for young people is that they are happy and comfortable with themselves, and that as they grow older, they embrace who they are, and they let that take them where they need, where they need to go.